this button here allows you to do the record settings and adjust the the settings that you use to do the recording so in that case I'm gonna go ahead and open this up I've got four different types of recording schedules I can apply I can apply a time schedule where if I want to record no matter what during a specific time period I can check that box motion is if the camera detects motion and how long it's going to record and if you'll notice over here I also have alarm this camera has a direct input and output and allows you to take feed from an alarm which would uh, trigger uh, open or closed circuit uh, and once the uh, circuit is closed and an alarm is activated you could have the camera automatically trigger to record I'm not gonna configure that at this time but I am gonna go ahead and configure schedule so I can demonstrate that and motion now if you will notice you've got a color code just down here for schedule alarm and motion and if I click the plus sign I can act or activate full time on all of those or I can manually drag so in this case I'm gonna show show you what it would do if you wanted to apply a schedule say you want to record from eight o'clock in the morning until five p.m. That would cover, say you want to record no matter what during normal business hours, but after hours, you want to record on motion events only. That's how that schedule would look. You can also have it set to record motion full time no matter what. And you can adjust and tweak this however you want those settings to apply. In this case, I am going to set it all for full-time motion only. For seven days a week. And I'm going to set my pre- and post-event record times. I'm going to set Pre-event, I'm going to record for 3 seconds. And post-event, I want to record for 10 seconds. What this setting does is it keeps a buffer in the recording of the live view. And if you detect motion during your motion schedule, it will begin the recording time 3 seconds before it detected the motion. And will continue recording for 10 seconds after it stops detecting motion. Hard disk over right here is designed to allow you to recycle the same hard drive space over and over and over again. It will basically overwrite the oldest files once the hard drive space has become completely full. Now that I've got my schedule done, I can click apply and OK. And now I'm going to go back here to server settings. and I can set my log I can adjust accounts I can view who is currently connected to the camera I can set my triggers I've got motion currently enabled I've got alarm currently disabled motion setting in order to make sure that I'm covering the entire area I can clear all or select all or if there are areas I don't want to view I can mask those areas off that video for that area will still get recorded but it will not track motion where we draw these boxes so say I've got an area that has a lot of people sitting down and not any walking movement I can mask that area off and now I won't get false recordings or unwanted recordings because somebody is moving around at a desk 
but if somebody walks around in this area, in the main hallway, I will get recordings. That's just a way to conserve hard drive space, but for this instance, I'm going to go ahead and have everything selected. And you can adjust the sensitivity from 0 to 9. 9 is the most sensitive, where if it detects basically any movement whatsoever, it will begin recording. Um, and 0 is minimal sensitivity, where it will require, require more movement in the frame in order for it to trigger a uh, recording. I'm going to leave it up at the highest setting just so that you guys can get a demonstration here. I'm going to click apply. I can also have the system email me or send a snapshot to a FTP.